This is part three in our merchandising operations series, and we'll be discussing the selling of inventory. So the first thing we want to look at is transportation cost. Transportation costs are costs that are incurred to get a product from the seller to the buyer. Now, it can happen one of two ways. The buyer could pay shipping or the seller could pay shipping. Freight in is transportation costs on purchased goods. So this is what it's called when the buyer pays the shipping cost or the transportation cost. This is not an expense. It actually increases the value of the inventory of the buyer. This is also, you may also see it, called FOB shipping point. FOB stands for free on board or freight on board shipping point. Shipping point means at the point of shipment, it's no longer the responsibility of the seller. It becomes the responsibility of the buyer. So again, remember, freight in is not an expense. It's an increase to the value of your inventory. Freight out is going to be, is going to be paid by the seller. And it is an expense. It's often called FOB destination, or free on board, or freight on board destination, meaning it's the responsibility of the seller until it's received by the buyer. When we sell inventory, we have to make two journal entries. The first one, we have to record the sale. The second entry is to reduce our inventory and record the cost. When we make a sale, we generate sales revenue from the selling of our inventory. And of course, sales revenue is a revenue account. Also, when we make a sale or sell inventory, we have what's called our cost of goods sold, or the cost of that inventory that we sell. This is a, an expense account, and it's typically the largest expense account a business will have. Let's look at sales returns and allowances. Now, unlike purchase returns and allowances, sales returns and allowances is an actual account. This is when customers return goods to the seller or the seller grants a reduction in price to the customer. Sales discounts, again, unlike purchase discounts, sales discounts is an actual account. Sales discounts occur when customers pay within the discount period allowed by the seller. These two accounts are called contra revenue accounts. So we know that revenues carry a credit balance. Contra revenues, therefore, will carry a debit balance and they will effectively reduce the value of our sales. So we'll take our sales and subtract our two contra sales accounts, sales returns and allowances and sales discounts, to give us net sales. And now we'll discuss delivery expense. This is the same thing as freight out. So this is the expense of the seller. If they pay the shipping cost, it's called a delivery expense. And it is included on the income statement of the seller. 